good morning guys uh, so today we are actually going to talk about VBA and uh, we are going to make a program which can actually uh, help you in uh, sending out the emails and to multiple you know uh, um, multiple people actually so uh, I have uh, as you can see here I have got this Outlook uh, email which is a Microsoft product and this is my exactly the you know the Excel uh, which is Excel sheet and uh, I have written here uh, names and uh, you know their email ID so what we actually want to do is we want to send uh, you know email uh, one by one to uh, each of them right and uh, we really don't want to involve any manual steps so we would like to do it you know uh, through VBA right before I uh, start with this uh, let me just tell you that uh, I have uploaded uh, you know uh, three videos already on the how to you can actually automatically send the emails uh, so watch uh, my email series as well and you'll get in fact the link over here you know um, uh, over the top of this uh, you know uh, video uh, you can click on that our post watching this video and you can actually you'll be directed uh, uh, to you know uh, to the playlist which I have uh, as uh, which uh, wherein I have already uh, you know uploaded uh, those three videos and you can watch them uh, and you can learn exactly that how you can create the folders how you can delete the folders in email and how you can even send the emails you know uh, so here we have taken a one step extra and here is it is not just a one uh, you know recipient but we have actually uh, four people and it could be 50 it could be 60 so what exactly we want to do is we want to send the emails you know one by one right to everybody and uh, uh, our program will be uh, you know designed in a way that uh, it should not actually automatically be sent uh, but we'll get the time to review them but definitely a me email will be drafted and it will be you know ready for your just uh, you know you just need to actually review it and if you feel that the email is perfect you can send it out right so let's uh, prepare this and uh, I'm just going to the visual basic environment so if you don't know about how to deal with the objects please watch my those uh, previous videos which you you will be seeing uh, you must be seeing on the top of this uh, video and uh, what you can do is uh, you can watch that you know from the very first series and I have exactly uh, talked about you know uh, the Outlook objects and I have given a good amount of uh, uh, you know the clarity and the understanding how when you deal with the Excel and the Outlook what exactly you know classes you exactly require you know to work with uh, Outlook so I'm going to start here my this um, sub uh, let's say I uh, will name this emailing and so what we are actually going to do is uh, we are going to uh, set up this uh, go to the tools and select this reference because we are actually going to use this uh, uh, you know early binding so click on this uh, ensure that you have a uh, you this click on this Microsoft Outlook 14.0 object library it may differ as per your machine because I'm using 2010 so it's actually showing 14.0 right if you're using 7 or maybe 2003 outlook or maybe 2013 this 14.0 would show something else but anyways that's not the that will not something which you should actually remember uh, just go there and check that whatever the version you have just click on that library so that we should be able to access the outlook classes right so I'm going to say that my this variable will hold my this outlook application and we are actually going to define this set olook equals to new outlook application now what this set word does is uh, I have already explained it but just to be uh, in case if you haven't watched those videos uh, this is actually exactly going to you know ensure that you know if uh, my outlook is not uh, running on then it should actually run the executable file in the back end right and you can uh, do control alt end and go to the task manager and you'll see that once this code will be run that uh, all you know outlook executable file will be running in the background right now what exact what else you want to do since you are going to deal with the emails so definitely I will use a class called outlook mail item this class actually we use when you want to email okay when you want to send email or when you when you are dealing with emails you know then you actually use this mail item class right so you can't directly access any uh, 
class so that's why you are always use the variables right now if I write here e email item and this let me just delete this and if I press dot sign you'll see that I am actually getting you know all the properties in the methods of this outlook mail item class otherwise this o mail item is nothing right it could be a name as well it, it is just a variable but one the moment you describe this you made this equivalent to you know mail item class of the outlook it has actually taken all the properties in the methods and this is how you know you work when you will or when you actually deal with the objects now what else we want to do is uh, so we'll say that now uh, because we want to create uh, a email every time you know this code will run a new email will be created so uh, we'll we'll come here and we'll say that uh, set uh, first of all we'll create the loop for i equals to because we want to run a loop so I'll say that for i equals to 1 to how many email IDs you have 1 2 3 4 right 4 and next so so that this loop should run actually four times and uh, here uh, you can further define this i as well so I'm just going to keep it as a byte right because um, I have just four numbers so I don't want to create extra uh, space on my program right so I will be very particular about it and uh, so I'll just keep this i equals to 1 to 4 and here what you need to do is now set your own email item okay equals to oluk dot create item now here is a twist generally uh, you write the email item because you want to use a email but here what exactly we want is we want to create a email item a new item you know every time this loop will run so four four times running means that four items should be created so that's why I'm just creating its index as zero right now then <coughs> afterwards what you can do is with o mail item and use the end with uh, dot two two should be equals to your sheet which is the index number is a three and uh, that's my sheet three as you can see the index number is three so I'm writing it like this and it should pick the value of let's say let's declare a variable and the column would be two because in the second column I have this email ID right so that's gonna be my email ID and uh, row number has to be again declared so I'll again declare a row number as a byte because I have just four rows to be used and I really want that my program should not take unnecessary you know um, space which is not required so when you write in one line you don't have to declare dim again and again right and uh, before we start uh, we should give this row number as a two because my the first email ajay at yahoo.com it starts with the second row number right so that's why I've given this and the moment it before it goes to the next loop again I want that this should be incremented with one so that it should actually reach to the next line right so what else you can do is uh, you can create a subject so I'll say subject would be uh, let's say good morning okay and uh, the body text should have now this is actually interesting what you want to do is you want to address everybody by its name right so I would say that uh, dear and then add so we'll say that whatever the value we have in um, your row number two and the column number one value which is at this point in time Ajay it should have that value and uh, thereafter uh, we'll create some extra lines so you can say VB new line one more line VB new line this is this is actually we use this VB new line to create extra line right so that after dear Ajay uh, I should have some spaces uh, some you know lines extra blank lines and then my subject goes right so what you can do is I'll use the underscore in order to come to the second line and here and I'll say that this is the output for today let's say okay uh, that's fine I guess and uh, now we can run this code and let's uh, check this let me press F5 okay so one thing I just forgot my bad uh, no action is you can't see because <laughs> we actually forgot to use this option display right now let's uh, run this and let's check alright awesome 
So as you can see here, I have just pressed F5 and you know this Joy2 uh, with the subject good morning and dear Joy is already there. This is the output for today. That's what we have written. So let me just close this and let me show you another email. So this is the dear James. This is the output for today and as you can see uh, it is going to the James. Let just close this. And similarly you have Himani here. Dear Himani, this is the output for today. And the last one would be of my name Ajay at Yahoo and dear Ajay. So this is how guys you can make uh, these programs. Now I have actually displayed them. If you don't want to display them you can even use this send option. Okay. And by using the send option it will not be displayed but will directly be sent. But remember that if you are very much sure uh, if you have some confusion if you want to just take a review then don't use this send option. Always display them and once you see that one by one and sees that the attachments are fixed and subjects are perfect you can actually send them and by the way uh, one thing more you can even attach a file with this source you can provide here whatever the source you have for example if you have uh, maybe this uh, VBA text file right uh, just go to right click on it and uh, go to the property and uh, copy this address okay and the name of the file is vba.txt txt so you can add the source here and you can see that txt vba.txt and put this within the quotes now the same attachment file will be sent and uh, let's just check if we are done with this or not oh awesome right so as you can see now I don't have anything over here you know I you see that it displayed and then it automatically got sent now I can't see them right that's because I have on this option so let me just comment this out and let's now press F5 right bingo we got it so yeah, as you can see here my text file is attached so I'm sure you must be uh, enjoying this code because this is a code which can you can use actually you know in your office and um, you can actually do a lot of lot of other steps as well watch out for the another series uh, I've already as I said there there were already three videos uploaded on the email just watch them and you will come to know a lot other things which you can do with the outlook and uh, uh, in case uh, guys if you're looking for you know excel training just let me know about that uh, this is my email ID and we can talk on that and in case if you have any questions regarding excel or VBA just don't hesitate to write me in and I'll go ahead and upload the video right so in order to support my channel if you like the video please don't forget to click on the like and please subscribe to my channel as well and share this video with as many people as you can thank you so much and have a wonderful day